Brandon, how much of a relief was it for you to, to see those bats in action tonight? Yeah, I thought we really swung the bat well. I'm just kind of going through the box score here with the um, but we also hit so many other balls hard. I was really impressed with the amount of good at bats we had tonight. The the, the um, amount of hard contact that was nice to see. It's been a while, and and um, good to see some guys having some some good nights in the stats line. Next, we'll go to uh, Stan Charles. Brandon, uh, just wanted to ask you a little bit about Iglesias. Uh, what type of respect? I, I kind of know what you're going to say, but the kind of respect you have for him when I see him running out that ground ball to Devers, mm -hmm. uh, it would have been very easy for this guy to have packed it in the last few days and just begged off playing. And he's not only playing, he's playing at a high level, hard. No doubt. Um, I am at a loss of, for words a little bit of, of what uh, I've seen from a veteran guy that has been playing banged up since we started the year here two months ago. And what he's done for our team, what he's shown our young players, um, he's been playing with, you know, the quad, now the wrist, <laughs> and the foul ball off the shin, um, and wants to be in the lineup. And we talk daily, and I've just been so impressed with him as a professional. Um, knowing him for 11 years now and seeing the growth that, that he has, the man that he has become is, is uh, it's really cool. And, and um, it's been a lot of fun for, for me. Um, I like watching him play. I, I, you know, I wish he could play short stuff every day right now this year. Um, but, you know, the, the, the leg hasn't allowed it because we're, he, we're, we're different with him on the field and we're different with him in the lineup every day. And he is, he just takes four really good at bats every single day. And then, and what he shows uh, on the bases, his instincts, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Joe Treza, go ahead. Brendan, one of those guys who had a good night tonight was Rio Ruiz. What, yeah. what do you kind of make of, of his season as a whole? Um, and, and is he still developing in your eyes? Yeah, you know, we talk a lot about it, you know, this last, I don't, I don't even know what the numbers show, but the last few weeks for me, when he's facing a left-hander, um, he's really staying on the baseball well. And you see a different swing. It's a shorter swing. There's a left center field approach. He doesn't get long. Uh, and he, you know, facing Perez today, tonight, um, you see him turn on a, a, on a sinker in, because he's staying close. You see him lace a ball to left, um, the hit up the middle. I just like when Rio stays close and stays through the big part of the field and, and uses the whole field. Uh, a lot of times he gets big on for me and, and tries to do too much. Uh, and he's got raw power that he, for me, he didn't have last year. Like he doesn't need to generate like he was trying to last year toward you know, the second half of the year, he's got a real, when his swing is short, it's powerful because he's got the added weight and the added strength this year. Um, and that's when he's at his best. And, you know, he's shown that with the nine homers, um, his ability to stay on the baseball is, is key. And, and he knows that. And we talked a lot about it. And that's something that he's going to continue to improve on and continue to work on during the off season. But just his left on left approach where he keeps his right shoulder in and be able to stay on, on baseballs, um, is the key for him. And he did that really well tonight. Four balls on the nose. John Mioli, go ahead. Brandon, with these last two starts, how big is this for Alex Cobb just to feel good about what he's done this year and finish the year healthy? That was, that was an excellent start. He had all pitches going. Loved the way he commanded the strike zone. Loved the tempo. Liked how he pitched with the lead. It was a veteran guy on the mound with the lead. And, and um, you know, didn't give in, but still made quality pitches. A lot of balls on the ground, a lot of double play opportunities with guys with, with runners on base. Um, pitched the contact at the bottom of the zone when necessary to get those ground balls. And we did a pretty nice job um, making the plays behind them. But yeah, that was for me, that was a veteran start. And we've got one final question from Stan Charles. Stan, go ahead. Uh, Brandon, uh, John kind of took my question, so I'll ask it a slightly different way. 
I'm assuming when you get a pitcher that's had some injury issues the way Alex was coming into this season, they've got to be a bit of a question mark. Is it fair to say that next spring he's not so much a question mark anymore? Well, he's proven health this year, and that's, and that's huge. And, and, you know, he's had a – you know, his last year was, was really hard for him, being injured all year long, and to be able to come in this year in spring training and feel good and improve health through this whole time, um, you know, I think – I know he's excited about that. And to, and to make this start, his last start of the year, uh, you know, a real quality one, it's, a, it's nice for him to go into the offseason knowing that he's really throwing the ball well.